Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Twisted Serenity. Thanks for clicking on my channel. So today I'm continuing with that cute little gingerbread theme and I'm going to take some Dollar Tree signs and turn them into some Christmas gingerbread decor. I hope you guys enjoy. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and turn on that bell notification to be notified when I post my next video. So sit back and relax or craft with me. Let's get started. Okay, I have this Halloween truck decor and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just rip off all the little extra pieces and us crafters like to save everything so I just take those off and I just save them for another project now you guys don't mind it I'm so sick so bear with me during this during this video I'm gonna flip it around and I'm going to use the back and I'm just gonna cut off where the cat's ear was hanging off using my box cutter and then I'm going to sand it up and then I am going to go in and I want to give it a clean canvas, so I'm going to go in with some plaster chalk paint and paint the whole entire thing. I am going to change the color, but you guys could skip that step. I'm just always doing extra work for some reason. So once I have it painted, I go in with my pencil and I just drew where I wanted like all the different pieces, like, like the mirror and the lights and stuff. I just wanted to know where everything was going to be at. And once I drew that in, I just start to go in. And I'm just going to go in with some Bright Red by Apple Barrel. And that's going to be our main color of our truck. And then to paint the window, I just mixed some, just to get a gray color. I had mixed some black and white paint. And I painted that in as well. And then to make like all like the rear view mirror pieces and the back bumper. No, I'm sorry, like the back lights. I am going to take some foam sheet. And I'm going to cut just those pieces out and then I paint them and then I'm going to glue them right onto our truck. What I try to do is I try to give this more detail. The more detail the better so it pops a little bit more. So I'm going to take my black paint marker and I'm just going to outline the whole entire of the truck and the mirror as well. And that's with the black paint marker and then I'm going to go in with some white and in some spots give it some extra detail as well. On the back mirror. I am going to go in with some, I believe it's an enamel by Folk Art. And I'm going just to give it some detail so it could look like the mirror is basically glistering in a way. And so I'm going to grab a stiff paintbrush and I'm going to give it white like spots all over. I want it to look like it was snowing and that snow was falling on the truck. And then once I do that, I am going to take the rest of the foam pieces and these are going to be the back of the tail lights. I paint them and I glue them on using some Fabri-Tac glue. Now I want to build the bed of the truck so I'm going to grab some small um, craft stakes and I am going to cut them down. I want them to fit all the way across the width of the truck and I'm going to build it up. So basically I'm going to do five layers of craft sticks because I want this to be 3D. Now once I have that built up I grab some small coffee stir sticks and I'm gonna just finish making the bed of the truck by cutting a couple pieces down and gluing them on to that 3d layer as you guys can see that I'm doing here so that looks like the bed of the truck because I am gonna put something in the bed of the truck now I paint it black I just want everything to be matching and I paint the the bottom part red and then I'm going to through like not throw but put some white speckles on there as well so I lost footage so you guys are only going to see like a couple parts and pieces. I took two Jumbo Craft Sticks, I attached them together and I painted them red. And then I printed out on my printer the word gingerbread. And I just used a technique where you just transfer it on using the back of your pencil. And I did that for the back of the bumper and um, for the license plates. So like I said I lost footage but once I painted them um, I attached them both to the back of our truck. So then I took some gingerbread i was showing you guys those gingerbread they have them at dollar tree but these ones are from timu i just cut the hooks on the top of them off and i put them in the bed of our truck and that was it for this one you guys how cute okay so for our next one we're gonna grab uh i think it's a six by eight canvas and i'm just gonna cut the canvas part off and then i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna take some oh Paint stir sticks. There we go. Paint stir sticks. And I'm going to glue them on the back of our canvas. Now you can use some jumbo craft sticks if you don't have paint stir sticks. 
Now I'm going to go in with some ivory chalk paint and I'm going to paint the inside or paint star six, the inside of it with our ivory by Waverly chalk paint. Then I am going to take my like little Cricut tool and I want it to look shiplap so I just cleaned the paint inside the, the lines. I'm going to paint the outside border with some more of that bright red by Apple Barrel. Now once I have it painted, I took a gingerbread cutout and I took a carton like a cereal box carton and I traced it out and cut it out and then I glued a piece of foam right on top of it and then I cut that out. Now I want our gingerbread to look kind of like a cookie type in a way so I'm just dabbing some salted caramel by Apple Barrel and some territorial beige and while it's still wet I'm just mixing those two colors and then I'm going to go around with some burnt umber around the edges so it can look like it's nice and toasty in the oven. So once I have it all painted up, I'm going to give our gingerbread man our details. So basically our face and then we're going to decorate it. So I go in with my, it's a paint marker, sorry. And I color in our face with some paint pens. Give it those cute little details that I just love. And once I have it, his face all done, I am going to add some puffy paint around his hands and his legs. And then I'm going to give him some peppermint buttons. And these little peppermint buttons are on Timu. I am sorry, you guys. I don't sound like my normal self. Me and the kids have been so sick. It's so, so bad. I'm just dying to get better, but slowly but surely. Now, I added a little bow because she's going to be a little gingy girl. And that's just some um, ribbon that I got from Walmart. And then I'm going to transfer our decals onto our sign. And then I'm going to add our little gingy onto, just using some hot glue onto our sign. And yes, she does, she is hanging over. She is bigger than the sign. That's exactly how I wanted it. And that was it for this one, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so for this one, I'm starting off with this fall time cutting board shape of a sign and I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to paint it with some plaster chalk paint by Waverly. I like to paint all my signs because I've been painting them with apple barrel paints and I feel like if I paint them in with like a base coat of chalk paint, the color pops more. That was Territorial Beige that I painted over with. So now I bought this image, I think for like a dollar on, I think it was so fancy and you they do have it that you can print it on your Cricut but I just printed it on my printer and I'm going to shade the back of it I'm doing this technique I'm going to shade the back of it and then I'm going to tape it onto my sign just to keep it in place and then I'm going to trace over it with my pencil and I do that and once I have it traced over my pencil I will go in with my paint pen and basically trace letters and color them all in now you can make this any color you want or you can even use regular paint and paint it all in. I just opted for my black paint marker. And because what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the sign some color in just different ways. And you'll see that in just a little bit. Now, since this was a gingerbread bakery sign, I wanted to give it some like little 3D embellishments. So I drew a little wood spoon on a craft stick. And using my X-Acto knife, I did cut it out and I sanded it all up. And then I stained it, used it some we really chalk paint and then once it was all dried up i grabbed some puffy paint i put some puffy paint in the middle of the spoon to look like some icing and some full little sprinkles now that was for our first little embellishment now for our second little embellishment i have this piece of a uh, dowel that i had just rounded about the ends a little bit just sanding it down and a piece of like this glitter foam and I wrap it around the dowel so it could be like a little mini rolling pin. Our next little embellishment, I just cut some little pieces of clay. And then I had like colorful like little clay pieces and I'm just sticking them into those like cookie shape. And then this is a makeup, a piece of a little makeup palette. I glue them right on so it could look like cookies on a baking sheet. And for the final little embellishment, I just wrote holiday recipes. And I cut it out on my printer and I'm sorry, I printed it out on my printer and I'm just cutting up some 
pieces of regular paper and I'm going to fold them in half. So basically, I'm making like a little recipe book, like a little miniature recipe book. And those little pieces of white paper, I'm going to just glue the um, the holiday recipe that I printed out, which I'm embellishing it up with some fold sprinkles. And I'm going to just glue it right over those folded pieces of paper. And now we have a little gingerbread holiday recipe book. Now those are all the embellishment for our signs. So once I finish all these, I'm going to take them and I'm going to take our sign and I'm just going to glue them right onto our sign. Like I said, I want a little bit more color to this sign. So I'm grabbing full sprinkles. Now this is a mix of sprinkles that I have made and the peppermint sprinkles I had bought. And I'm just going to glue them all over our sign and onto our little gingerbread man bow tie and hair bow. And then I add a little bow with some ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree right on top of our sign. And that was it for this one, you guys. I love how this came out. Another sign, just giving it a quick makeover and giving it some embellishment. We created a cute little gingerbread sign. Okay, so I'm going to take another fall sign and I'm going to rip off all these embellishments that it has and I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to give it a coat of plaster chalk paint. Now, I painted this because I didn't know what direction I was going to go in with this sign yet. So I did paint it thinking I was going to paint over it. But I took a piece of scrapbook paper and I laid down our sign and I traced it out and I cut it out. Now, when I do cut it out, I always like to cut it out a little bit um, a little bit bigger than the sign because when we go in to sand it it makes it look like all one now i just use my elmer's purple glue stick just to glue down the scrapbook paper and then i'm going to go in with my nail file and i'm going to clean it all up so i'm going to go in and basically sand up all the borders and make sure you do it downwards so you don't rip the scrapbook paper off of your sign now I took this image off of Google and I made a little cutting board sign last year with the same image of this gingerbread cookie recipe and I just wanted to make a little bit of a different one because I just love this image. So I'm going to use my purple glue stick again and I'm going to glue it right into about the middle of our sign. Now once I have that glued down, it was too plain for me. So I took some coffee stir sticks and I made a border for the sign. I just cut them down to fit around and I just basically made a little frame. Now, once that was done, I have a little wooden spoon and I just took some puffy paint to make it look like frosting. I put some puffy paint on our wood spoon and some full little sprinkles and a little mini gingerbread cookie thing that I made myself. All the little sprinkles I just put on this spoon and the little baked gingerbread cookie I made myself um so I buy some and I always make some myself and then I took our little wooden spoon and I glued it onto our little sign and it was that simple you guys how cute is this
I hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And turn on that bell notification to be notified when I post my next video. I do always want to thank you guys for always supporting me and always being so kind. Now, as I always say, this world could throw you twists and turns, but always make good choices. To the next one, you guys.